For decades, the nuclear energy landscape has been dominated by large-scale reactors, but a quiet revolution has been brewing, one that could reshape the way we think about clean, scalable and reliable power. At the heart of this shift stands the BWRX300, a next-generation small modular reactor from GE Hitachi Nuclear Energy. To understand what makes the BWRX300 so significant, we need to go back to its roots. GE's legacy in boiling water reactor technology began in 1955 with the development of the first BWR. Over the years, this technology evolved through successive generations, culminating in the ESBWR, a Generation 3 Plus reactor that earned full certification from the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission in 2014. Rather than starting from scratch, GE Hitachi used the ESBOR as the foundation for something new, compact, and transformative, the BWRX300. What sets the BWRX300 apart is its ability to combine advanced safety, simplicity, and economic efficiency in a single design. It uses natural circulation for cooling, eliminating the need for active pumping systems, and it's equipped with passive safety features, which means that in the event of an emergency, the reactor can shut down and cool itself without any operator action or external power for at least seven days. That level of autonomy is a major leap forward in nuclear safety. But the innovations don't stop there. The BWRX300 is also remarkably compact. Thanks to its simplified and modular construction, it requires 90% less plant layout volume and uses 50% less concrete per megawatt compared to traditional designs. These savings translate directly into faster construction timelines and dramatically lower costs, up to 60% less capital cost per megawatt than traditional water-cooled SMRs. In today's competitive energy landscape, cost matters, the BWRX300 has been designed to go head-to-head -head with natural gas and renewable sources, not just in terms of carbon-free generation, but also on affordability and deployment speed. Its modular approach allows reactors to be constructed off-site and assembled quickly, reducing the complexity and delays that have historically plagued nuclear projects. Globally, momentum is building fast. In Canada, Ontario Power Generation is leading the charge by constructing the first BWRX300 at the Darlington site, making it the first SMR in a G7 country to enter the construction phase. With Ontario's electricity demand expected to rise by 75% by 2050, this project is not just visionary, it's necessary. And with deployment targeted for 2028, the BWRX300 is no longer a future concept, it's a near-term reality. Internationally, GE Hitachi is exploring deployments in Poland, Estonia, Sweden, the UK, and the Czech Republic. Governments and utilities worldwide are recognizing the potential of SMRs to offer clean baseload power while supporting the transition to net zero emissions. Now let's take a moment to see how the BWRX300 stacks up against the competition. Compared to the new scale power module, which outputs 77 megawatts electric, the BRX300 offers almost four times the power at 300 megawatts electric. Rolls-Royce's SMR offers a higher 470 megawatt electric output, but its forced circulation cooling and longer build time give BRX300 an edge in simplicity and speed. Then there's TerraPower's Natrium, a promising fast reactor cooled by liquid sodium, but it requires HALEU fuel and more development time. The BWRX300, by contrast, uses standard low enriched uranium and is ready to deploy within years, not decades. With a proven design lineage, strong international support, and a cost structure that rivals renewables, the BORX300 is poised to be a game changer. If you are passionate about the future of clean energy, now is the time to pay attention. Like this video if you found it informative. Subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into breakthrough energy technologies and drop your thoughts in the comments.